Ready for another round? It's Bruise Day Tuesday. Here's Drez and Huck. You're wearing that one. In the face. Uh, it is Bruise Day Tuesday. And these were cans, so you we're, yeah, no, we we're couldn't not shoot shooting the any, caps. We're not shooting any bottle caps off of this one. Popping caps. Um, <laughs> well, look, I, you can't blame me on that. Look, this is just an overfilled beer. Yeah, that's like a, it's spilling out the top. That's like the coolest beer can, though, I've seen in a while. It is kind of cool. Like, all right, so. You know how our, oh yeah, by the way, it's Bruce Day Tuesday, brought to you by the Southern Restaurant Six Pack Store. Yeah. So, <laughs> we do love our sponsors. I'm not trying to to downgrade them or, or skip over it. But, um, wow, yeah, they just, they really filled this beer up. It's the kind of label that's like our pounders, like our, the beers that you, that we like from, you know, yeah. Aslan and stuff. Yeah. It's that kind of label and can style, but it's, instead of the pounders, it's just a 12 ouncer. Well, unlike, what was the last one you had was uh, Amagang. This yeah. one's Omnipolo. And Omnipolo is of the family of gypsy brewers. So generally, the gypsy brewers make pretty good beer. You know, some people diss them. But this is like a weird beer. Yeah, generally, they do. Okay, so Omnipolo, so, like you said. Po- po- <laughs> you gave me this on purpose. Yeah, I did. Pleroma? Everything about it said you. I'm going to go with Pleroma. And listen to this description. This is like what it says. We're usually just says like, you know, IPA. Here's a beer. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. It's a raspberry creme brulee sour, all brewed with lactose sugar, raspberries, and vanilla added. Mm Mm-hmm. 6%. Creme brulee, I call that snot. So it's distributed by blah, 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 um, brewed and canned for Omnipolo. By Darstra Brewing Company. So that was the... Yeah, he's is a, it a Is it a collaboration or is no, it like no, this he is all comes him? In, he comes in and uses your equipment and you get a little credit because you made the beer, but he's the guy. All and right. they all, you know, they all the gypsy brewers kind of hang together. Well, it's clearly raspberry because this thing is coming out very red. I see that. Which is unusual for beers. What do you got over there, Huck? Well, you know, I have a few favorite breweries and... Clown shoes, who I was solely ah. solely responsible for bringing them to Virginia. <laughs> yes, you are. You are. You take credit for that. I do. I am taking credit. I did it. Um, so this is the, the Drongo. Ooh. Oh, yeah. You're looking happy over You're there. puckering over here. Yeah. Sorry. This is the Drongo with Australian Galaxy Hops. So it's got a whole motif of like horse racing, but somebody's backwards on the horse. And uh, it's clown shoes, so you know it's funny, but it's called the Half Sour IPA. So I kind of cheated because I gave you the Super Sour Raspberry Beer. So yours is like an IPA with like some sour notes? Yeah, a little sour notes to it. Okay, so this is, and this is definitely a sour beer, dude. Like, all right, so. Well, uh, we don't do those. We need to do we more really of don't, them. I mean, you like them, don't you? Yeah. yeah like, I thought I remember you saying you like sour. See, for me, sours, like. <sighs> Yeah, you're not a fan. I mean, I like them, but I don't like them as much as I used to. And they're one of those beers where, like, I mean, forget about going to, like, a bar and getting a whole pint of, of sour, sour. Beer. Yeah, Like, the only sour I'm going to get at a bar is one that's, like, a super high ABV that's coming in, like, one of those little itty-bitty right. goblet kind of a glass or yeah, something. Yeah, or, you know, a, a sampler, taster. Flight, flight, that's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, because, like, I mean, drinking this much of a sour, this is 6%, by the way, I don't remember if I said, but, I mean, this, it's just, you got to, you're sipping it, and, yeah, I don't know, it's just so much flavor. It's just too much. It's overload. So, I'm not too knowledgeable about sours. I I will admit that up front, but I do know that there is more than one kind. There's something called a kettle sour, and I believe that Mm -hmm. you chemically sour that beer. Then there's the... Bryomyces sour, which is the ones that I generally like, where it's kind of open air, and you know a lot of your Belgians are that way, so it kind of self sours. And then there's a third kind that I think they it's like the Fodors, where the sourness, the bacteria in the wood, and you put the beer in the wood, you know, and then the wood puts does what the wood does. So it's not so I okay. So there's different styles. So it's not really. 
something that you add. It's of a process. With, with the kettle sour, that's, and again, it, I think it is something you add. Okay. With every everywhere else, it's it's kind of natural. The, the pro, like more it's natural. How you do yes. it makes it sour. Yeah. Which so, makes sense. That I mean, you. So the original sours were, you know, the open air. Everybody has what they call the cool ship with a K K O O L ship, ah, and they. You, I used to smoke cools. Yeah, you, <laughs> yeah. We all used to smoke. It used you to be so that, cool. The people that still smoke, sorry, anyway, <laughs> um, they pour it into this big stainless steel vessel that looks like a ship, but it's like, you know, twenty ah. by twelve metal foot high. And it's in a room with, I'm making my hands and, and I'm on the radio. But anyway, yeah. it's in a room with boards on the ceiling and the walls. And the steam goes up and it drips back. And that's where it gets the yeast. Oh, interesting. Yeah. The first one I ever saw was in Allagash in Maine. It was hilarious. We're in, we're in the sour building and she's leaning on, I don't mean, you know, these big apple crates they pick apples into. They're about four by four by four. And she's bent over in that. Of course, we're making, you know, rude comments because. That's how you are. Yeah, we're toxic masculinity. And she's holding up bottles like overhead, and I'm going, had that, haven't had that, haven't had that. Haven't. And they, she starts setting them on the counter, right? So the first thing is I start opening bottles. Everybody's like, Huck, Huck. And she's like, no, Huck can open the bottles. And so I open the bottles, and she goes, yeah, and then we, we mix it here, and we send it to the cool ship. And I said, hey, can we go see the cool ship? And she goes, yeah. And the guy that's running our tour, the driver of the bus goes, well, I've never seen a cool ship. <laughs> and she goes, well, I guess you never asked, did you? <laughs> so off we went to the cool ship. Yeah, and it, it was, was cool. cool. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So what do you know about, do you know anything about these guys, the Omnipolo or um, whoever the, uh, whoever they teamed up with? What is it, the Doc, Doc Sture? No, but the Omnipolo, they're, they're good. I mean, they're like uh, McKellar or... Um, you know, there's several of them out there. And, they, I mean, he, he makes good beer. I mean, you know, that stuff is good. He comes out with, you know, two or three a month. We don't get them all. Depends on where he makes them, right, because mm-hmm. it's geographic. So he makes them somewhere that we're in the delivery mode. We'll get it. But this um, – the clown shoes is, I believe, from Massachusetts. Taxachusetts. Yeah, Boston, Mass. Oh, they're in Windsor, Vermont. But this is like independent beer seal. Yeah. That- Does that thing have it? I don't think so. I'm just wondering because I mean they they got to be independent, and this one's six point five percent. Apparently, I'm the, we're the only ones here. They all left. I guess. Yep. Yeah, there he goes. Six point five percent. So this one's six point five percent. Oh, that's not too bad. No, you know, and I've, it's really interesting. I'm not really getting super sour taste out of this. Well, that's probably better, better than what you have to the drink. No, oh. I mean, well, I'm, I'm not dogging it because, like, here's the thing. For the style, I bet this is amazing, and I almost might as well go ahead and start untapping it because, I mean, it's it's got flavor beyond flavor like if you're looking for if you want a beer to sip on and just really take it in this is your beer um and and i will say this that like like most beers uh, most at least most beers that we drink they get better as you go right each sip i take i'm liking it more and more right um which i know that that was the case last segment but I remember you were dogging on me. You were like, oh, a three. Yeah, but you, you, you were agree, right. You agree that yeah, beer, a, was something wrong with it. I, there's something, yeah. I, I actually believe there may have been a problem with that beer. Now, we're talking about that the dry brute from, uh, the brute IPA from Omen Gang. Yeah, I don't I might send them a note. But right now, I'm, uh, I'm talking about the Pleroma, which has a bit of a raspberry aroma, but yeah, very tart, very which tart. you would expect from a sour, yeah. Um, a lot of flavor, but like I said, I'm not a big sour guy. So I think I'll give it a three five. What would I, it, I'm not in love with this beer, but that's because it's not my not my what, thing. What would a big sour guy look like? I'm just saying. I'm just having this kinda vision. Like, when you said like that, I, I man. Just, yeah, or like a giant <laughs> lollipop, one of those tart. Remember these sour green apple? Never, never mind. Sour Suckers. Patch Kids. Yeah. So yeah. I'm like, as I drink into this, uh, the the. Drog, drongo, drogo, drongo. The drongo here. This is reminding me 
of another beer. And I'm, I really cannot put my finger oh, on it. Oh, doesn't it that drive me really, crazy? It is driving me crazy because it's really, really is reminding me of something I've had. Mm, yeah, I, I know what you mean. That that definitely happens. It's got, it's like, it's like the IPA and then there's like this wave washes over my tongue at the end and goes sour. But it reminds me of something I've had and I just can't put my finger on that's it. That's not a sour? Yeah. But it just maybe has a little slight It's just note. a little at the end. It's like. A little wave at the end on my tongue, but I, I've had this, I've had this taste before, and I just cannot place it. But I know it's a beer, and I'm like, I had another beer similar. This is good, okay. And again, we're just we're stepping out on this road to the sour beers. True, true. So what's it going to be? Four twenty five. Four two five. Four two five. So just a hair better than the last beer, according yep. to the untapped scale. Yep, just a little better. Wait, <coughs> yeah. Oh, it's good coming up. There too. you go. All right. Well. uh... So there you go. We, you know, we switched it up a little bit. Sours and brute IPAs. Um, and now I know why we don't switch it up that often. Yeah, yeah. Really like always, either of them. Every time we do we something try, new. We try to branch out. You know, we should make a note somewhere, but we would lose the note uh, and forget to read you're it. Right, you're right. Well, anyways, uh, Huck, as always, man, despite the fact that the beers were lackluster, I do appreciate you bringing them in like always, my man. Got to try them. Huck's Beer Buzz on all the social media. Huck's Beer Buzz at Gmail. Huck's Beer Buzz, just type it in. You'll find it. Instagram, Twitter, blah, blah, blah. Follow him, whatever. I'm everywhere. uh, And feel free to shoot us a note because I think we're wide open for the next show or two. Yeah, we are. Uh, So hit us up if you got any ideas. Drez Drinks is not my email. Drez at (laughs) 1053thebear is my email. Ah, I've been drinking. On that note, dress drinks. <laughs> yeah, dress drinks. Dress drink. So that and that's I, I would drop the mic, but it's on this arm stand. Drink, so drink, gonna, drunk. There you go. Uh, we'll take a quick break. <laughs> we'll get back with the tunes right here on one hundred five point through the bear. Stick around. <laughs> 